All right, welcome back. Um, it's been up here a time or two since I last had the camera with me. Really just drilled some holes into these piers and then put a bolt in. I think these are three quarter inch, maybe half inch bolts. Um, and then use just a uh, cement masonry adhesive to really lock those in. Um, they stick about an inch out above the concrete. And I've got these brackets here, which will just set nicely on with a washer and a bolt. Washer and a nut, I can lock them in. Um, and they've got a little play still, which is nice, so I can really make sure they're lined up well. So today, I think I'm gonna get those locked in. And then on top of that, um, start leveling our piers evenly with each other by using four by sixes to raise where needed. Um, I think the back right corner is the highest, so I'm just gonna leave that one as my level and then build off of that. Um, gonna be interesting footage. I'm gonna be using the tripod with a laser level I just bought. So it'll probably just be on a stump, maybe more handheld. We'll go from there. Um, oh, and one last thing, I've got a helper today. All right, check this out. We've got the uh, laser level going and it is set to the height of our first beam. That one we've talked about as being the level point we're working off to. And it's pretty weak, especially on a sunnier day like today, but we can just barely see it on the next beam, which gives us hopefully our level. So yeah, check it out. We got a laser level on a tripod. Um, this thing is like 20 bucks on Amazon. They're like 150, 200 at the big box. Uh, big box hardware stores. This seems pretty dang level to me. I don't know what the differences are, but really I'm happy with it so far. Um, it's really faint. You might not even be able to see it, but using this card, you might be able to see that that laser level is pretty much right on our level point here. And I've got it kind of off to the side, so it's purposefully weak here, so that it shows up really good here. So assuming this laser is good, this line is perfectly level with the top of the steel plate over there so that once this is cut, we can lay a two by four, two by four, four by six across here and she will be plumb diggity. Uh, so I'm gonna go get this line marked up and then make some cuts. You can maybe just see a little green laser line. Oh, beautiful. Love it. Well, the roof is in the pudding and that pudding looks pretty dang good. Hee hoo.
Good pudding. All right, last one. Um, just gotta get this marked up, cut, and then hopefully we can lay our two beams across and have our first 20 foot section. Pretty stoked. So you might have noticed that it's all a little wobbly right now. Um, I think I've got the two ends fully locked down, but nothing is secured yet. And I did that just because I've measured it a hundred times. I feel good it's gonna work, but I still just wanna be able to make those adjustments as need be. So now I think that I'm here. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to get the whole thing set up, make sure it's all plush the way I like it. Um, and then bolt down those brackets on the concrete and then secure the posts and secure our beams. Um, really exciting. There's actually uh, starting to be something here, which is really cool. Uh, yeah, feels good. I want to talk through this one quick. So I wanted 20 foot four by sixes so that I could just have one beam going the whole length and not worry about spacing it out. Um, but instead I decided, well, because I couldn't get 20 foot, at least not without a hefty delivery fee, um, I decided to go with 12 feet, knowing that I have six feet between each post, four posts, 18 feet total, give me a foot off each end or flush on one end two feet off the other. Um, the problem with that is the margins are so tight that instead of being centered on my post at 12 feet, where I would transition from one beam to another, instead of seeing center, it sits like maybe an inch on, so a third on the beam. You might be able to see that down there, um, which I just don't love. So, as much as I don't really want to, I think what I'm gonna end up doing is taking, instead of having a 12 foot and a eight foot, have a six foot in the middle and then seven feet off each end. <laughs> that way I have the foot buffer going out in either direction and I have good gaps that I can take, um, make sure I'm being consistent with. The frustrating thing with that is that I had three 12 foot four by sixes and I cut one of them in half to get it in the car. That's the one I've been using for the risers. And then I had two full 12 footers that I brought up today. So I can't make all those cuts work with what I have. Um, but I think that's the only way that this is gonna work well, at least um, without just getting 20 footers. So yeah, gonna play around with that setup and see what I think.
so that's obviously a lot longer than it's gonna be. Um, I'm gonna have to cut these 12 footers down to seven feet. It's gonna hang out about an inch, or an inch, a foot off the edge. But I think it's gonna be good enough. I don't love that the beams just sort of, I don't know, aren't continuous, but I think I just have to get used to it. Um, no one's gonna see this part. It's gonna be hidden underneath. As long as it's secure and solid, I think we're good. Um, yeah, I'm gonna start tightening things down and see what happens. Two or three done. Um, just gonna throw this last one up quick and then decide if I wanna do the second round today or not. Let's do it. Pretty dang good, I think.
All right, so for this final row, it's all about getting the height here for our next beam, even with that height, so that we can lay a floor nice across it. Um, so I'm gonna do what I did going that way with the laser level, only instead of going beam to beam along the long way, I'm gonna go beam to beam short way. Um, not even beam to beam, piling to piling. Uh, yeah, four more to go, one more beam to go, and we'll have a platform we can start building on. Pretty cool. Just like that, we have some beams and a surface to build our floor off of. Thanks for sticking around with me today. Um, if you enjoyed it, do the YouTube things, you know, the like, the subscribe, and uh, come on back for the next one where we're gonna be framing up a floor, getting insulation in, and a subfloor, so we actually have a surface to work off of. So thanks again, look forward to seeing you in the next one, and uh, this build's gonna get interesting fast. I can promise you that. <laughs>